Hello everyone, thank you so much for stopping by my video. I thought I would share this part of the video first and then hand you over to the time-lapsed format of the video where you'll see everything up to right now come to life. I have not added anything else. I thought I would go ahead and, and share this part with you guys because, well, as usual, I'm a day late. I'm always late to something, uh, but I would still like to participate and I'm hoping Miss Dina will be okay with this. Um, so today is the 21st of January, 2023. This was due yesterday, the 20th. Uh, so yeah, this is part of her snow art challenge and this is my official entry, uh, a snowman. And I'm going to be sprinkling snow with gouache. And um, yep, her name is Dina Dolepsen and she is currently hosting or was hosting this challenge. I honestly did not know she existed in the YouTube art world until I saw her video uh, come across my recommended videos. And so that was yesterday. <laughs> so Dina, my name is Laura, so nice to meet you. And I'm hoping that you will, um, well, you'll enjoy what I did for your art challenge. This is my first art challenge ever on YouTube and I'm pretty excited about it. So I haven't even cleaned off my palette and I thought I would share with you some uh, last minute details here. I'm gonna add some gold because if you guys know me, you know I do love my gold and I'm gonna be using uh, Kim LeBeau's handmade gold metallic watercolor marry me I'm gonna let that sit there for a few seconds before I begin to use it and I'm also going to bring in some details um, to the hat and then we can just finish this up I'm working on the Beohong paper this is the 7 by 4.9 paper block I just like to take off the you know the top part there the cover it just makes it easier, even though I didn't need any tape for today. Oh, and before I continue, I'm going to add a background because I didn't tape off all four sides. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'd like to go ahead and add a bit of a background. So I'm going to grab the same color that I used for his snowman self, and I'm going to use that color to just bring out bit of a background here nothing too too crazy or too detailed I guess I should say that better not crazy the time-lapse video itself is about three minutes all together and I'm hoping I'll be able to take a decent natural light thumbnail for you guys and I will, of course, post this in my community tab. So the whole purpose of this was to include snow in your art piece. And Miss Dina did not limit this art challenge to just watercolor or drawing or anything. She was very, very kindly uh, open to a lot of different interpretations on how you can add snow to your project. So I thank her for that. And for those of you know just a little bit about me, you know I love me a good snowman. <laughs> so yeah, look at that, perfect. I'm learning to leave some open spaces in between my subject and what I'm blending with, the color I'm blending with. And usually I wanna just cover everything, but nope, I'm going to just, just leave it alone. I did not sketch any of this prior to, but You'll see me struggle a bit in some parts of the video, making me wish I did. But this is the way I like to art and watercolor. No line sketching, and that just comes from my love of no line watercoloring when I was, actually still am, a card maker. An avid stamper, paper crafter, all that stuff. I wouldn't say, wouldn't go as far as saying paper crafting, but I definitely do like to make handmade cards still and bringing my love for watercolor into it has definitely helped me. All right, so we have the background. All right, you might hear some noise in the background. It's Saturday, so we're at home. I'm also going to, let's see, let's begin to bring in the gold. So like I said, the Marry Me color from 
Kim LeBeau's handmade watercolors. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And I love adding a bit of gold to everywhere. <laughs> it's hard for me to stop sometimes. And working on this cotton watercolor paper by Bao Hong just, well, it's just pretty awesome. I will have a discount code for you should you like to purchase some for yourself. I am a very happy ambassador for All About Art International and they are an exclusive distributor of Bao Hong paper products. And I do believe much, much more coming soon. I'm also going to come up here and bring in very, very thin line, kind of just barely touching, kind of skimming, because maybe his hat is extra fancy and he has some gold trim around this area right here. I will need a very small brush, more detailed brush for the line work within the leaves. So I will bring in this smaller uh, 3 over 0 brush and I'll just add one line right there, one line right here, and one line right there. And with this very same brush, I'll reach into more of that gold color and add some details to the middle of his buttons here. He's extra fancy. Very nice. You know what I didn't add is the little wooden perch, little stick where our birdies can come and hang out. So I will, let's see, right here, this is, yeah, that should be dry. Just like that, and then I will gently just pass over my brush on the top. That should do it right there. I wanna just do all sorts of detailed things, but this video is already going into almost eight minutes and I think that it should be good. Actually, one more thing, one more thing, because if you follow my work, you know I do like a more stylized piece of watercolor art. So maybe his scarf is from TJ Maxx. That's extra fancy. <laughs> So we'll add a bit of gold just in between those lines there. You'll see all of this watercolor goodness come to life in the video. The video itself is almost an hour long, so, you know, I hope Miss Dina and those of you who choose to watch it uh, don't mind having a more time-lapsed type of video. I would essentially like to do things like that and do a voiceover, but I think for now the music is okay. And yep, we'll have some of this last minute stuff. How fun. One of my goals this year um, to help me use what I have in my stash is to participate in our challenges. So I'm pretty excited about that. I tend to get nervous when participating or wanting to participate in things like that because, um, well, I just do. So I'm hoping to get over myself and put myself out there more. But there you have it. There you have it. You have a very happy snowman. Let's go ahead and add the snow, right? So I'm using some gouache here that I have on my palette from yesterday. This is actually a repeat. My intentions were to do this yesterday, but time got away from me, so he got a bit of a do-over, and I like the, I like him much better. <laughs> so I'll just tap in some snow, and well, Miss Dina, here is your snowman, <laughs> or my snowman, but you have your snow. It looks like this is gonna... There we go. It's still winter here where I live in the States. I live in New England, so we are still very much 
in the middle of winter. Maybe you can even call it a winter. Alrighty, so snow scattered everywhere. I'm actually really, really happy with how this came out. And if you're watching, thank you. Thank you for watching. And uh, there you have it. Thank you again, Miss Dina, for hosting this art challenge, this uh, snow art challenge. And I look forward to making friends and uh, just opening myself up a bit more. Please be kind with your comments. <laughs> Press the like button if you enjoyed seeing this part of the video. And well, I'll hand you over to the making of this snowman. All right, guys. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye. So I guess I'm not done because even after washing all my brushes and getting everything cleaned and ready to take a photo for the community tab, I said, you know what, I'm going to put a little bit more snow on our snowman because, well, Miss Dina said snow. So here you go, more snow. <laughs> Just having fun here. And I thought, why not go ahead and kind of build up the snow in his long wooden branches four arms so let's go ahead and just tuck in some bits of snow might not be able to see everything but I got a good amount of some wash here this is just the Hobby Lobby's brand gouache maybe there's some snow stuck between here too How fun. All right, and ooh, I don't want a big blob though. Give me one second here to. Maybe there's just some building up here. Pushing down. And 
There's some right here, kind of just skimming along. Right here. How fun. Uh, let's see. Right here. Very cool. All right. And maybe there's a little bit kind of hanging out up here. Right here. And the little wooden stick that we did here, the little wooden perch. Oh, wonderful. How happy does this make me? Very nice. See, I wouldn't have never, never let myself experiment this far. You know, last year, I had to look very prim, very proper. Nope, this is just too much fun already. Now, I'll bid you guys a goodbye. <laughs> Thank you again for watching.